हेलो स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर वन जोग्राफी वी हैव सीन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पैरल वी ऑल्सो नो दैट इक्वेटर इज कॉल्ड एज द लार्जेस्ट पैरल इक्वेटर इज कंसिडर एज जीरो डिग्री पैरल नाउ द पोटैटो दैट हैव टेकन यर इज ऑल्सो स्पेरिकल लाइक योर अर्थ ओके सो इफ आई कट इफ आई बाइसेक्ट दिस पोटैटो इन फ्रॉम द मिडल माइंड यू स्टूडेंट शार्प ऑब्जेक्ट्स you are not supposed to use without the guidance of your parents but this is just a demonstration so this line along with which i have cut this potato represents your equator so this is the largest parallel this is the biggest circle it is also called as great circle and it is your zero degree parallel is this much clear then let us understand the hemisphere okay suppose i take this as the northern side and this as the southern side the equator has divide the earth into two hemisphere the one which is to the north is called as the northern hemisphere and the one which is to the south is called as the southern hemisphere so equator has bisected the earth into two northern and the southern hemisphere we have seen the definition of northern and the southern hemisphere the one to the north of the equator okay if this is your equator the one which is to the north of the equator is a northern hemisphere one which is to the south of the equator is a southern hemisphere so you student this line here along with which along with uh, uh, along with which i have cut this potato is your equator okay then we have seen that as it progresses as we cut further more your parallels will become smaller and smaller okay so let me take only the northern hemisphere and cut along the northern hemisphere okay so you can see here suppose this is your 30 degree north i have told you about the angular measure also suppose this is your 30 degrees so can you see your 30 degrees is smaller than your can you see it is smaller than your equator okay progressively if i go on cutting it further let me cut it more further okay and suppose this is your 60 degrees parallel this 60 is smaller than your 30 can you see it is smaller than your 30 and it is also smaller than your equator can you see it is smaller than your equator okay let me put all these pieces together again to show you the earth okay this is your entire sphere i have bisected into two parts so this is your equator which has which has divided the earth into two part okay and we have told you what is the northern hemisphere i have told you what is the southern hemisphere then as the latitudes progresses as we move away from the equator the latitudes goes on becoming smaller in size so can you see if i take this as the 30 degrees latitude this circle can you see this circle is smaller than your equatorial circle okay and if i take this circle if i further cut it if i further go away from the equator this circle will still be smaller than your this circle is that clear it is still smaller than this circle you can see the size it is much smaller so what was that sentence which is there in your textbook the angular distance of other parallels towards north and the south goes on increasing away from the equator angular distance goes on increasing but the size of the parallel goes on decreasing the parallel becomes smaller and smaller in size we have seen north we have seen south so if student if i go on cutting it you will see that i will come to a place okay if i further go on moving away from the equator and if i still go further you will come to a place which is exactly a point so can you see here this okay if this is my earth the finger that i'm holding that place will be the north pole so can you see here this will be the north pole in the same way here will be your south pole so your north pole and your south pole are nothing but your sir nothing but just the points okay and what are they called as north pole and south pole on the globe as the north as we move towards the north and the south you will come to a place which appears to be a point if i go on 
moving away from the equator if i am going away from the equator okay as the latitude's angular distance increases i'll come to a place which is furthest away from the equator which appears as a point is nothing but your north pole while mentioning the value of the parallel you have to mention whether it is in the northern or southern hemisphere so if this is your equator equator is neither is not northern hemisphere neither southern hemisphere but this will be your 30 degree north parallel this will be your 60 degree north parallel so you have to write down whether it is in the northern or the southern hemisphere north is represented by writing degree north and south is represented by writing degree south now we are to coming to the next page we will be seeing the same in the textbook also but let us understand the concept using this potato before we move to the textbook a line joining all the places located on the north of the north of the equator at a distance of 30 degrees is called 30 degree north parallel so all the places on this parallel will be at the same latitude let me take the 30 degree parallel suppose this is 30 degree parallel all the places on this on this parallel will be called at 30 degree north okay in the textbook they have given two places this is your north orleans in sorry new orleans in north america and suppose this is your place called as cairo okay this is one place called as um, new orleans in north america and this is another place called as cairo which is in africa both the places are at the same parallel that is your 30 degree parallel okay so although they are very much away they are in different continent but they lie in the same parallel and that is the 30 degree parallel i hope the concept is clear hello friends we are on page number 4 second part of chapter number 1 of geography figure 1.6 earth's angular measurement a line joining all the places located to the north of the equator are at an angular distance of 30 degrees is 30 degrees north parallel hence all the places on this parallel will be at the same latitude which is 30 degrees north new orleans in north america Cairo in Africa or Basra and Lhasa in Asia are all located at 30 degrees north parallel the same concepts hold true for all the other parallels let us see what does it means have a look here you have a line at the distance of 30 degree from the equator is 30 degrees north so this is your 30 degrees north parallel and can you see here cairo and new orleans are the places which are located at a distance of 30 degrees north okay lhasa and basra are also on 30 degrees north but on the other side of the globe so it is not seen here the same hold true for all the longitude all the latitudes all the places belonging to the same latitude will be called by the same latitude for example 30 degrees north or maybe 30 degrees south your 30 degrees south will be this particular line now see the box shown below one can draw 181 parallel on the earth at an interval of 1 degrees so one can draw 181 parallel 0 degree will be one parallel 90 parallel will be in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallel in the southern hemisphere so in all there are in all there are 181 parallel equator which is zero parallel is counted as one 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere 90 parallel in the southern hemisphere together makes 90 plus 90 plus this zero parallel makes 181 parallel so in all there are 181 parallels 
Is this clear? I repeat once again, there are 181 parallel because equator is counted that 0 degree equator is counted as 1 parallel. There are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 in the southern hemisphere. So, 1 plus 90 plus 90 makes it 180. This 0 degrees is counted as 1 parallel. Okay. Now, do it yourself. I am reading that part. We have already done this in the in the video. So, we move ahead. Students, this video is about introduction to the concept of longitudes, meridians of longitudes. You can see an orange is here with its skin is peeled off. Let us understand the concept of longitude with the help of this orange. You will see that this orange represents your earth. Okay, it is also spherical like your earth. Fine. Now, you can see this orange is divided into different segments which we call as pieces. Okay. This is a protractor. Okay, this is a protractor. We measure angles using protractor. If I keep the two protractors together, we can measure the entire sphere okay, of this orange. Can you see if I keep these two protectors together, I can measure the entire sphere. One protector measures, one protector measures 180 degree, another protector measures 180 degree. So, there are in all 360 degrees to measure a complete circle, to measure a complete sphere. Okay. Is this concept clear? We move ahead. Now, this orange is divided into different segments. If I remove one segment, okay, if I remove one segment from this orange, what will you see? An empty space is here. Is this space same centrally as well as terminally? The answer is no. It is broad in the center and it is narrower to its terminal end. It is broader here and narrower to the terminal end. In the same way, the longitudes, okay, the distance of the longitude near the equator will be broader and it will be shorter. It will, the distance will decrease towards the polar region and they will all combine together into the north and the south pole. This concept I will explain when I am explaining the lesson. Thank you students. Okay, let us continue. After having understood the concept of longitude, let us see it in details. In figure 1.8, angle ABC angle DEF and angle GHI have the same measure that is 50 degree. All these angles have same measure 50 degrees. What is the measure of the angles? All the three angles will be measuring 50 degrees. Let us see. Angle ABC, can you see angle ABC is here, angle DEF is here and angle GHI is here. All the angles are of 50 degrees. All the, all, although all the angles are of 50 degrees, however, the distance between A and C, D and F and G and I are different. Am I right? Distance between A and C. Can you see this distance? AC distance, DF distance and GI distance. This distance are different. Remember the video that I have shown you about the orange in which I told you the middle part of that segment is broader and the terminal part is narrow. The same you can see here, the middle part is broader and the terminal parts are very narrow. Am I right? Middle part is quite broad and the terminal parts are narrow. This is because the earth is a spherical in shape. 
the reason is earth is spherical so can you see it is broad in the center and tapering or narrow towards the terminal part now do it yourself use the figure 1.9 let the line am be 0 degree can you see that line am is 0 degree line let the line am be 0 degree draw line mb measure the angle that makes with line am we will draw angle we will join m to b and then you will measure the angle which is formed here write it near b whatever that measure of that angle is you have to write that angle near b note that semicircle that passes through b can you see the semicircle which passes through b this is the semicircle half circle starting from northern north pole ending in the southern hemis in the southern pole okay trace it can you see it is shown with the dotted line in the figure 1.9 we have measured the angle we have seen how to draw that angle if i join mb you will get an angle bma okay and whatever that measure of that angle is i am writing it near b suppose the measure of the angle is say suppose 50 degrees okay so i am writing 50 degrees here now now joint m and c okay can you see point mc you have to join those point i am writing that measure of the angle near b once again and i am joining m to c i am joining m to c and write the measure of angle amc near c i have to write down the measure of angle amc near c draw a semicircle that passes through c and join the north and the south pole okay you have to draw a semicircle can you see that semicircle will look something like this joining the northern pole to the southern pole okay i will try to draw it once again passing through c joining north and south pole draw uh, lines draw a line that passes through point a at 0 degree so suppose a is at 0 degrees a is at 0 degrees and have joined so can you see in this way i am going to draw different meridians let us see this explanation meridians of longitude we have seen how to draw the meridians of longitude in figure 1.9 you will realize that lines drawn from point a b c makes angle at m the center of the earth on the plane of the equator through these points we can draw semicircle joining both the poles starting with point a we can draw similar semicircle through points which are placed at each degrees these semicircle are known as meridians so here we learn the definition of what are meridians of longitudes a semicircular line joining both the poles which are placed at a distance of one degree from each other are known as meridians so let us see this definition marking i'll show you how to find the definition what are meridians of longitude so semicircle joining both the poles at a distance of placed at each degree or at a distance of one degree are called as meridians of longitude so you have understood how to write down the definition how to find the answer now one of these meridian is considered as zero so just as in parallel we have zero degree parallel as equator in meridian also you have to fix one meridian as zero degree meridian this zero degree meridian is called as prime meridian the angular distance of the other meridian from prime meridian are measured in degrees and are called as longitudes so prime meridian is considered as zero degree meridian <coughs> and we have to draw different we measure different meridians or longitude we have done this in the activity based on figure 1.9 the 0 degree and 180 meridian lies opposite on the globe okay 
so 0 degree meridian and 180 degree meridian are exactly on the opposite side of the globe and it will form a complete circle now because of this complete circle the earth gets divided into two hemisphere eastern and western all meridians are equal in size <coughs> excuse me so just as equator has divided the earth into northern and the southern hemisphere the 0 degree and the 180 degree meridian which forms a complete circle divides the earth into eastern and the western hemisphere now all meridians are equal in size now this is a distinguishing point between parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude parallels of latitude are not same in size but all the meridians of longitude are same or are, are equal in size we come to the next definition meridians in the eastern hemisphere are labeled as 10 degree east 25 degree east 135 degree east etc while in the western hemisphere they are labeled as 10 degree west 25 degree west 135 degree west etc now 30 degree east is a semicircle that joins all the places at an angular distance of 30 degrees from prime meridian some of them are cairo harare and durban in africa see figure 1.6 i am reading the sentence again 30 degree east is a semicircle joining all the points at a distance of 30 degree from prime meridian so let us go to diagram 1.6 here is a diagram 1.6 and here is your 30 degrees 30 degree east okay have a look here this is your 30 degree east longitude so can you see this is your 30 degree east longitude and all the places shown here are Durban, Harare, Cairo these are all the places lying on the 30 degree east longitude though the earth is huge in size we can tell the exact location of the place on the earth using latitudes and longitude earth is very 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 vast first figure that we have seen was that of the east to west and the north south distance of the earth so you know how vast how big the earth is but no matter how big the earth is in size we can find the exact location of any place on the earth using latitudes and longitudes note that the distance between two adjacent parallels is the same everywhere but the distance between two adjacent meridians is not same everywhere <coughs> remember the video of the orange where i showed you in the segment the central part of the segment is broad and the terminal part is narrow in the same way longitudes near the equator are broad distance between the adjacent longitudes near the equator is broad but towards the pole it will go on decreasing the maximum distance between the meridians is maximum at the equator and it goes on reducing to the pole at the pole is it is zero here we will refer once again to figure 1.6 what was the statement i made distance between two adjacent parallel is the same everywhere <coughs> let us see what i meant to say distance between adjacent parallel suppose 0 degrees parallel and 10 degrees south parallel so the distance between these two parallels or between 10 and 20 this distance this will always remain the same it will be the same but distance between adjacent meridians is changing how does it change see suppose i take this as your prime meridian and this as 10 degrees okay this as the prime meridian is this as the 10 degree eastern meridian see this distance but the distance here is very less it goes on becoming less and less and at the pole can you see at the pole here it is it is merging into a point it will join together into a point okay further ahead distance between any two adjacent parallels is 111 kilometer on the surface of earth distance between one parallel and the immediate next parallel the distance is 100 and 
uh, 11 kilometers that means if we go from one parallel to the next parallel we have covered the distance of 111 kilometer the distance between two adjacent meridians is also 111 kilometers on the equator okay at the equator meridians are also at a distance of 111 kilometer to locate the place within this distance of 111 kilometer exactly we need to divide the unit degree into smaller units degrees are further divided into minutes and minutes into second so can you see if we want to divide this 111 kilometers we have to further divide into minutes and minutes are still more divided into seconds conventionally latitudes and longitudes are expressed in degrees minutes and second each degree is divided into 60 minutes and a minute is divided into 60 seconds thus these values are expressed using symbols can you see the symbols for degree for minute and for second okay I'll explain this concept once again. What has it been told? Distance between two parallels is 111 kilometer. Okay, but if you still want to divide this distance of 100 kilometer, you have to divide it into minutes and into second. Okay, if I write, this is the symbol of degree, this is a symbol of minute, and this is the symbol of seconds okay we move ahead in all we can draw 360 meridians at a distance of 1 degree remember i told you there were 181 parallel here i am telling you there are 360 meridians and they are at a distance of 1 degree apart from each other 0 degree prime meridian, 180 meridian, 1 degree east to 179 degrees east, thus it makes 179 meridian in the eastern hemisphere and 1 degree west to 179 degree west, it makes again 179. So, 179, okay, so how much it is? 179. 179 plus 179 plus 1 which is 0 degree prime meridian and 1 which is 180 prime meridian if we add all this the total comes at 360 the total is 360s so total there are 360 meridians this think a little part is omitted We are on the final page now, page number 7 of chapter 1. This do you know part is not there. Okay. So, student, please note do you know part, this part, and also this do you know part is not there. The gracules, the parallel and meridians on the globe form a net that is called as graticule. So, here is the answer of the question, what is graticule? What is the question? If somebody asks you, define graticule. So, you will say that the parallel and meridian on the globe form a net and it is called as graticule. This facilitates determining the location of a place. So, with the help of parallels and meridians, you can find the exact location of a place. See figure 1.10. Thus, we use latitude and longitude to determine the location on the earth. This method is being used even in today's modern age quite effectively. Geographical Information System that is GIS, Global Positioning System that is GPS are all as also Google Maps, Wikimapia and Bhuvan of ISRO on the internet also makes use of latitudes and
latitudes and longitudes this technology is also available on mobile phones and cars so student can you see that gps map is shown there in figure 1.11 now this do you know part is already cancelled okay so after studying this chapter you will be able to find the angular measure of the latitudes and longitudes to read the parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude and draw a graticule on a spherical object okay so student this chapter is over